Hey everyone, I'm Zhong Hen from the Rice Lab at UC Berkeley. This work introduces a drastically improved cardinality estimator that completely removes heuristics using deep unsupervised learning. This is John work with awesome collaborators from Berkeley, Covariant, and U Chicago. Our databases heavily rely on cardinality estimation. The most prominent use is in the query optimizer. Given a query, we enumerate many candidate plans. The optimizer relies on the cost model to pick out the best plan. Now, in order to do so, the cost model queries a cardinality estimator, asking for the estimated number of rows for each partial plan. Another important use case is resource allocation, where we want to allocate compute resources to execution plans based on their estimated cardinalities. Despite its importance, our cardinality estimation is inaccurate. Now, past research has suggested that our real systems routinely produce huge errors up to orders of magnitude away from the ground truth. Why is that? Why this inaccuracy? And what is the ban of cardinality estimation? This work focuses on single table cardinality estimation, which is a fundamental problem. And there are two primary heuristic assumptions responsible for the inaccuracy. The first heuristic is called the independence assumption. Intuitively, it means that it assumes a distribution over several columns is approximated by the product of one dimensional distributions. Through this approximation, we lose information about our data set. The second heuristic assumption is called uniformity, where we assume values inside each histogram bin are distributed uniformly or equally likely. Therefore, the root problem is that any heuristics made result in fewer correlations learned about our data, therefore making cardinality estimates inaccurate. In this work, we take a direct approach in addressing this root problem. Our solution is called NALU, Neural Relation Understanding. NALU uses the key idea that we can in fact learn all correlations across columns without heuristics. Here's how it works. NALU performs unsupervised training, just like a plan node histogram. We read tuples from a table. We encode the tuples through uh, suitable vector forms. We pass through the encoded tuples to a deep autoregressive model. This model is so called because the output is a list of conditional distributions, each over one column, and is conditioned on all prior column values. During training, we perform maximum likelihood estimation, which means the output distributions are made to fit the data better and better. Here's a concrete example over two columns, age and salary. We see that there are two output distributions, and the second output is over the salary column, while conditioned on age equals 26. After training, we can use the model to estimate the selectivity of any query. To handle challenging range queries, we perform approximate inference, which return a selectivity estimate, which we can turn into a cardinality by multiplying with the row count. By combining these ingredients, NALU can achieve up to two orders of magnitude higher accuracy than prior state-of-the-art. Now let's zoom in into the unsupervised training part. There are two compelling reasons NALU uses autoregressive models. First, they allow us to get rid of independence assumptions. And this is because autoregressive models use an exact factorization where a high dimensional distribution over n columns on the left hand side here is exactly represented by the product on the right hand side. To make these conditional uh, outputs tractable, autoregressive models do not explicitly materialize or memorize them. Instead, they are emitted on demand as model outputs. The second compelling reason is that there are many successful architectures in this model family. If we want to scale to more complex data sets, we can pick and choose higher capacity architectures. In this work, NALU utilizes mass multi-layer perceptrons and transformers. Both architectures have been successful in non-database tasks. After training, we use the model to estimate selectivities. Now the basic case is a point query, where we want to return the selectivity of a point, fully specifying all columns. This is actually an easy task 
we can simply perform a forward pass on the specified point A and S and multiply the outputs correspondingly. A more challenging task is to handle range queries. For instance, we want to return the selectivity of H in some region, R of H, and salary in some other region. Now, naively enumerating all possible points in this queried region incurs an exponential cost. To solve this problem, Nalu uses the insight that not all points in the query region are meaningful. Therefore, we shouldn't need to enumerate all of them. Instead, we should sample tuples from the model, and Nalu uses these sample tuples to approximate the branch density or selectivity. To that end, we propose an inference algorithm called progressive sampling. Here, we illustrate it on a 2D density plot over salary and age. So darker color means more tuples live in that region. Progressive sampling works as follows. Given a query, we first start sampling the first dimension from the first model output. And we make sure the sample comes from the query region R1. We go on to the second dimension and we sample from the second model output. Again, we make sure the sample comes from R2 and condition on the first dimension sample. We keep on going until we obtain a completed tuple. We then return this product here as an unbiased estimator for the desired selectivity. The intuition of the algorithm is we leverage these learned conditionals to progressively zoom in into more meaningful and high mass regions. Therefore, they make our sample tuples more effective, increasing the statistical efficiency of the algorithm. Nalu makes a number of optimizations, the most important of which is efficiently handling wildcards. The problem is as follows. Usually our queries only filter a subset of columns while the table has more columns. For instance, here, age and salary are filtered and city and birthday are treated as wildcards. We can naively support this by sampling through these huge domains. With wildcard skipping, we turn these range constraints into an equality constraint. For instance, city is made to be equal to this special mask token. And this allows us to skip sampling for the wildcard columns. This optimization is highly effective. It reduces the maximum estimation error by one order of magnitude. Our paper also contains more interesting results. Please check it out. Now we evaluate Nalu's estimation accuracy on this DMV dataset with 11 columns. We generate a challenging workload containing a variety of range and equality filters. Here I'm going to show on the y-axis the multiplicative error or the Q error in log scale. Compared to Postgres and the commercial database, Nalu is two to four orders of magnitude more accurate. The reason is these systems use histograms and heuristics, while Nalu avoids them. Compared to a materialized sampler, Nalu is up to 90x better. And we also compare to two supervised learning techniques from recent literature. Here, Nalu is up to 70x more accurate. The reason is because Nalu directly learns the data distribution, therefore it's highly robust. Supervised learning techniques may be limited by the specific set of training queries, and they may not provide sufficient coverage for the data distribution. Nalu is also much faster to construct. Very recently, we have built on top of Nalu to achieve heuristics-free cardinality estimation, even for joints. We call this new estimator NeuroCard. This is a very recent uh, exciting development and it will be presented one year from now in VLDB21. A preprint paper is available at this link. To summarize, we have presented Nalu, which is a single table cardinality estimator that fully removes heuristics. As a result, it is much more accurate than prior state-of-the-art. We also propose optimizations to efficiently handle range queries and wildcards. We have open source Nalu on GitHub. Please check it out. Thanks for listening.